A very important part of your workspace is what you see scattered about the screen. And these little panes, or panels, are actually called pods. And we're going to focus on them and get a little bit more familiar with them right now. Let's start by creating a new project that we can continue to work with as we move through the various lessons in this title. Now go ahead and click File, move down to New, and go over and select Project. Okay. Here you'll see a list of new project types. When you select them, you'll see a description off to the right-hand side. So we're going to go right back up here to Blank Project and go ahead and click OK. And now we're going to start to create a help system that will help people learn how to use lynda.com. So that might be an appropriate title that we can type in right at the top over the selected text. We're going to type how to use lynda.com. And you can choose a location like the desktop, like I'm about to do. Do it right there. And the first topic. Now instead of the words first topic, let's click and drag over them and type in welcome so that we'll welcome people to our new site. Clicking finish will actually create the new project with that new first topic. There we go. Alright, and now it's time to focus on the pods. Now, the pods are basically these little windows with tabs that can float anywhere here inside the RoboHelp window, and they're here to help you complete the various steps required to create a project and generate a desired output. Now, we already know that there are a number of pods that appear as part of the default workspace, and all of them can be accessed from the View menu. So if you just go right down here to Pods, these are all of your pods. And some of which are already visible on your screen. Some of them appear as tabs in the Docs pod. And if you want to access one that's already there, no problem. Simply clicking something like Single Source Layout simply makes it active. It's highlighted here in the title bar, and now you have access to the Single Source Layout tab. Whether it's visible or not, it now is. Now, if it's already open like this, it's simply active, and you're ready to start using it. But let's say you wanted to focus on snippets or pieces of a topic. Well, you could go back to the View menu, but you might already notice that there is a tab down here for snippets. And another way to access it, if it's already here, is to go ahead and click the tab. It's actually hiding right under here. I've actually already clicked the tab. Now Snippets is open. You can see that there are no snippets right now, but we could click, for example, the Create a Snippet button right from within the pod, which you see right here, and give it a name. I'm going to go ahead and do it. We'll call this one home page. So your description might be how to get back to the home page. When you click OK, you've just created your first snippet and you have some placeholder text for it. This is your placeholder text right here. Now the neat thing about snippets is that we can make changes to the code over here in the snippets pod, and then we can share that with various topics. So if we make a change to the code, those changes are reflected in every topic where the snippet appears, which is kind of nice. This will all make sense later on when we start working with snippets, but for now we'll just focus on the pod itself. Now the pods that you choose to use and view is completely up to you. Let's say that there's one that doesn't appear here, like the toolbox, something that you normally use. Well, just go back to the view then, down to pods, and find the toolbox. So 
here's your toolbox right there. And when you select it, you'll actually you'll see that it actually appears at the bottom of your screen by default. So if we move the single source layouts out of the way, you can see it a little bit better. There's your toolbox there. It's a tab that's now active, and you have access to your toolbox right from here. And you can move between the tabs, and whenever you need to go to the toolbox, you simply click it. If it's not something that you're going to use and it's taking up space on your screen, then there are a couple of different ways to close a pod as well. You'll notice that there is a menu button in the top right corner of every pod, and here's where you'll see some options. So here's your menu button, and one of your options, options is close. So that's one way to close it. But another option is to simply right click the tab to see those same options. So you just do it anywhere. And you can close it from within there. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And just like that, your toolbox is now gone. And you have to go back into the view menu if you want to get it back. Of course, there are a number of options for how to view your pods, where you place them, and how they behave. We're going to discuss all of that next.